Good morning, Metrolina. I'm Madison Reitz. And I'm Hannah Schmidt. And we're with your WMCA newscast. Today is Wednesday, November 11th. Make sure you guys are submitting your Good Morning Metrolinas to our email account, which is metrolinastudents at gmail.com, and then you can be featured on the newscast. Now here's Caitlin with some more announcements. Thanks, Madison and Hannah. National Honor Society, listen up. The NHS induction will take place in the Worship Center on Thursday, November 12th. It begins at 6.30. All NHS students should arrive no later than 6.15. See Ms. Gaskin with any further questions. Junior Honor Society will meet in room 207 after school Wednesday on November 11th from 3.05 to 3.45. Permission forms will be on the service project for Operation Christmas Child will be handed out in the meeting. Now on to you, Braxton. Thanks, Caitlin. Congrats to all the players that made it winter sports teams. Varsity basketball will host a jamboree this Saturday starting at 8 a.m. We will welcome Grace Academy, Marvin Ridge, and Cannon. Last Friday, Varsity Football hosts our first ever home playoff game against Concord First Assembly. It was a hard fought game, but we lost 27-20. Great job to our Warriors who ended with a 9-1 season record. Winter sports have finally kicked off and home games begin soon. The boys and the girls middle school basketball teams will host Charlotte Secondary School on the 12th starting at 4 o'clock. On Tuesday the 17th, boys and girls middle school basketball will play at home against South Lake Christian starting at 4. That's all the upcoming home games I have for you. Now back to Dada with some more announcements. What's going on guys? High school, make sure you go to your appropriate clubs at 9.35 during your second period class. Junior Civitan is going to meet in modular G1. Science Club is meeting in room A106. M&M's is going to meet in room A308 and National Honor Society is meeting in Modular C. Next week's chapel speaker is Ed Newton. Ed Newton was the only child of two deaf parents. Through many difficult circumstances and major hardships, Ed was saved in high school and called to the ministry as a senior. I know he has an amazing testimony that we'll all enjoy. Now for this week's devotion. Y'all. Okay class, today we're going to learn about a creation story. Turn in your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 517. Class, class, what's wrong? The creation story is in Genesis. Oh, well, I'm talking about another creation story. What do you mean? Turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 517, and I'll tell you what I mean. 2 Corinthians says, in 517, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Hmm, how does this relate to the creation story in Genesis? In Genesis 1, 1 through 2, it says God created the earth, and the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface. The Spirit of God was hovering. How would you describe a life before Christ? Formless, empty, in darkness, and then the Spirit moves. In Genesis 1-3, God said, let there be light. Well, guess who says they are the light of the world? Jesus in John 8-12. Whoever follows him will never walk in darkness. So the earth was formless and dark, and God said, let there be light. A life without Christ is dark and formless, without meaning. And then Jesus comes in as light of the world. In Genesis 1-4, God separated the light from the darkness. What does that mean for us as Christians? In John 15-19, we are told we do not belong to the world. 1 Peter 1, 15-16, we are told, be holy, be set apart. We should reflect Jesus as light and separate from the darkness. In Genesis 1, 6 through 7, the focus is God dealing with the water in his creation. What's the water to a Christian? In John 7, 37 through 39, it mentions streams of living water. And it tells us the Holy Spirit is what is meant by the streams of living water. In X 1 8 we're told we will receive power when we receive the Holy Spirit and that is the gift the comforter we receive when we get or ask Jesus to be Lord of our lives. Are you a new creation in Christ?
As you can see, the Ask Burnett box has moved to Ms. Sutton's office. Make sure you're dropping questions in the box for Mr. Burnett. Y'all don't forget we're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Shutterfly, and YouTube. The fourth issue of the Student Battle Cry newsletter comes out Thursday the 12th. Be sure to check your school email account or all of our social media accounts. Now here is your slice of advice for the week. Have a great week, Metrolina. <coughs> don't ever smoke. Good morning.